Ready, ready, talk to that boxing with Mr. A right here on RRT Boxing, doing a breakdown and prediction of the IBF featherweight world champion Lee Shelby versus Jonathan Victor Barrios. Barros. Now the breakdown is Jonathan, he does a good job at creating different uh, targets to look at. He, he changes his height. He doesn't stay the same uh, de uh, stationary target right in front of his opponent. He will uh, do a stutter step to the side, do some shoulder shifting, and he'll throw punches off that. But then he's, his punches are slow and wide. So it's going to be as good as his movement is. Uh, his punches are wide, slow, like I said. He brings the jab back very slow. And with the speed of Lee Shelby, it should be no problem for him to counter over those. Um, I do believe that uh, Jonathan le leads in with his head too much. And I, I believe I'm going to make a prediction that Lee Shelby is going to suffer a headbutt cut in this fight. Um... He's going to have to watch out for when, if he does get allow himself to get against the rope, Shelby, that is, to just make sure Bar Barros just does not plow his head right into him. Because the inside game, that's all Barros does. He just put his head, lean, he leans over, he's, his weight is over his feet, his head is out. He's open to uppercuts all day. His body shots are just going to be delivered wide hooks. He's open to counters easily. All Shelby has to do is just basically step back and let uh, Barros walk into uppercuts, the check left hooks. And if he wants to after that, he could just press, put, put the pressure on and probably finish him. But what I was surprised at, at researching the, on Shelby was I always heard the name. I just never seen him fight. Uh, I was getting excited. I believe he came over to the States. I want to say on the app Lamaris undercard. I'm not too sure. I know the fighter canceled at the last minute, so us on the state sites never got to see the guy they say was the, the British Mayweather. <laughs> so, you know. But watching that, he more he's not a British Mayweather to me, but I guess you can't say I'm the British so and so because he's already over there. He reminds me of American. He got, he got a lengthy frame to him. He throws uh, a lot of combinations, but all the combinations are thrown at the same speed and same velocity behind the punches. And I'm afraid that um, at given the right opponent, someone could time right through his punches because it's it's just like American. It's always the same speed, same velocity. It's you could say perfect example was um. Eric Hunter, he threw with he threw with me, timed him, and he cracked Lee Shelby. Now give it credit, Lee Shelby was able to recover from it, but Hunter was able to time him a good amount of times when he did throw punches. Now if Hunter was uh, gusto enough to throw more punches, who knows what could have happened? Because he he timed Shelby pretty good. Now back to Barrios, Barros. Now will Barros be able to time it? His punches are going to be too wide, I believe. So that's the breakdown. I don't think Barros could hang with the speed of um, Lee Shelby. So that's the breakdown. And the prediction is, and still IBF super featherweight champ, or IBF world featherweight champ, Lee Shelby, six-round stoppage, double RT boxing. This is Mr. A. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Three quick keys. Oh, sorry, that is the breakdown. Sorry, got all mixed up here. That's the breakdown. Go watch the three kick. Go watch my three quick keys. Thank you and thank you for your support, Mr. A. Please subscribe.